What's up, Scrollgers? I don't know about you guys, but I'm the one to play some judgment. Um, last couple videos on the channel have been ranked, so let's do some judgment. Um, all right. So let's buy a judgment deck, and this looks pretty good. Uh, Forge and Storm Runner. It's very, very good. Um, those are arguably like the two best energy cards. I mean. Burn is up there, Bombard is up there, but you know. Um, and there's some good Decay stuff like Baleful Witch, but that needs combos to work with. Same with Puppet Soldier. And my as well. I kind of isn't too bad, but we'll definitely take the Forge. That could be worked into a lot of decks. Um, Copper Atom Thought isn't too bad. Here I will take the Bacchan. It's just a decent creature. Um, definitely Storm Runner. Plus me is good. I don't know, definitely Storm Runner. If you guys didn't hear, uh, Judgment is being reverted back to random rarities, so I think will be much more fun. Uh, so I'll go with Copper, like, Death, the Forge and Storm Runner are amazing. And there's a Hired Smuggler here, which is also awesome. Skirm World Skirmisher Wing Charge is also good, though. I'll take the Copper Auto. And I also like the energy cell on this row. It's tough choices. I'll take the Wings Charger because I have the other Order Guy. Alright, I don't have the other Order Guy. Well, I could take the Order Guy. I'll take the Wing Charger and chase it to the really awesome Order thing down here. I might take the Royal Skirmisher. And there's Fleetness, which is pretty good, but I think we want to take the Hired Smuggler and go for Energy. Smuggler, Gun Autos, or Plating. Plating is Replenish. I can get into another color with that. We'll see. I'll take the Hired Smuggler. Draw me that Forge. Uh. Gun auto, proximity charge, or plating. Plating is best for like being able to splash other stuff. But I think I'd rather take the creature when I can, so I'll take the gun auto time. Hmm. Dark strike. So we will go to K with the energy because we do have a spot can. Um but fleetness is a good choice. But there's also the tempest This is really tough. I'll go with a Hunter, and there's a Rot Deer here, so I can, if I need to, I can go with a pretty good Decay deck. And there's a Dust Runner, which is also pretty good. And instead of a Dark Strike, I really like this, what I have going here, Reaver, Dust Runner, Replicaton. And so if I get a Bombard, like, it's basically GG for the other guy. Oh boy, and now we're getting, we have a, this is really good order stuff down here. But this is pretty decent. This can give me growth, but I think I'd rather take the, well, first of all, Cannon Autumn's on here. That's amazing. Um, your veteran is also, I have no growth, so I'll take the cannon on him at time. Um, messed up down here, but tick bomb here over the travel memorial. Really good scrolls. Ooh, a burn, that's awesome. He's gonna be a pretty good energy deck, I think. Uh, I don't, there's a higher chance we splash decay, so I'll just take the totem of suffering. I doubt we'll use it. We're only at 14 to 45 cards. Wow, it's already shaping out to be a pretty good deck. Uh, Vicious Strike or Ripper? I'd rather just stay on color and see what I can do. So I'll take the Vicious Strike. Because maybe it's like a mono if I'm lucky. So I'll take the Vicious Strike, definitely burn, and then I'll see. I'll have to decide these cards. Okay, so another Hard Smoke, which is awesome. Now Siege Cracker. Copper. I'm definitely taking a sea tracker here. So do I want two sea trackers or two coppers? Because I already have a copper. Um, coppers are really versatile. I'll take the copper autumn sign. I like that more. And there's another sea tracker down here. So I guess it was good that I took that copper autumn sign. A scout autumn sign. Yes, now it's really good that I took that copper autumn sign. It's really good. Yarrow's also pretty nice. So is our speed potion. But we definitely want to take the scout. And all more gives me actually order, which I can use. But I'd rather keep taking creatures. Another burn, a machination mindset. Machination mindset, however you pronounce it. Wicked being, maybe I will splash that for a little bit of little damage. Definitely burn. Wow, I'm gonna have three burns. Holy cow, that's amazing. Uh I don't love I mean temperature is really good also, but burn is just I'm um, like it made the number one energy, I, my list of top 10 energy scrolls on a video a while back on this channel. 
I believe burn a summer one. But again, that was like six months ago, but I think burn's still pretty darn good. I don't know, this doesn't really matter. Probably not gonna use any of these. I'll just take the Crimson Bolt. Uh, Eager Scryer, New Orders. I guess New Orders is a more common splash. Okay, so, oh boy, look at this row for energy. I mean, it's not amazing, but the Machinator is amazing. Meta Wonder's pretty good, Power Trip is okay. So let's take the burn. I guess another Vicious Strike, uh, there's good. Proximity Charge and a Concentric Fire. Uh, what do I wanna do here? I have a, I probably should take the Machinator. It's, it could help me in a lot of different ways. Machinator Storm Runner would be amazing. Um, but then Metal Wonder is also pretty good. We do already have a lot of creatures, I think. Yeah, we have 13 energy creatures already. Uh, we're not going to take the Power I think we're just going to take the Machinated. Proximity Charge. Concentrate Fire. There's like Scattergun, another nice creature. I'll just take the Wicked Being. Another burn. We're going to have four burns. Holy cow. Plating is really cool, which gives us... Oh my god, a Bombard. I mean, it sucks that it's also a row with a Psalm Giant, because Psalm Giant's really nice, but Bombard, oh my god. We have, like, all ranged creatures. This is, like, a ranked deck. I would... I would actually want to take the second to rank, because it would have four burns. <laughs> actually, no, maybe I wouldn't, because it only has one Bombard, but I don't know. It's a pretty darn good deck. Uh, I'll take the Plating. Um, definitely Bombard. Tool Initiate's okay. Down there. Uh, focus, I guess, could be splashed. Um, tool initiate. Another scatter gunner that has tinge with bombard, and so does hired smuggler here. And then, oh my god, look at this energy stuff! How many vision strikes are? So this is it. This is it. So I'll take. Wow. Three, all right, it's going to be a mono deck. Okay. Um, how many structures do I want to take the metal wonder or the machine divinator? This is also a clock. I'm taking the clock library. Clock library here. So we can add a clock library. Let's see how many other structures I have. Energy structures. I only have two. I have I have forge. And I had proximity charge. And then I'll have three with clock library. Maybe four with not a wonder, but the whole point is counting the structures for a machine divinator. Um You know what? I think it'd be wise to just I mean a forge going off faster with the divinator would be pretty cool. And also with the clock library. I'm not sure. A divinator just for a couple of proximity charge, a forge, and a clock. I'm not sure if that's worth it. I think I'll take the metal wonder, clock library, and then smuggler. Man, this might be one of my best destruction decks ever. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna have to like we have so many good energies that we're gonna have to choose what we want to put in or not. The vicious strikes are likely what's not gonna get make the cut. Actually, we might take out four hired smugglers. Wow. There's four hired smugglers. We might have to take some creatures out, like Tool Initiate, because there's a lot of creatures in here. Um, I won't put that in yet. Let's see. Yeah, I think I want to take down four burns. Four burns and four hired smugglers. Holy cow. Um, let's, so what do we have right now? We have 26. I definitely want all these. 15 creatures. We could use... I guess we could use more creatures. I don't know. Um, I'll take the Perks of Ninja. It's pretty good. Concentrate Fire, I think, is really good for this deck, especially because when you think of Concentrate Fire, you think of, first of all, obviously, there's a Scatter Gunner on the card, and it's really good to use Scatter Gunner because it has four attack. Concentrate Fire is also really good with Cannon Automaton. Storm Runner also. Whoa, if I put Concentrate Fire on a Hired Smuggler, you'll, get, you'll draw another card. Ooh. But you're using a card to do that. But I can do that to get like, my forward chaster. Um, so now we have two cards to put in. I could put in both Siege Crackers. Yeah, I think the sea trackers are better than the tool initiate, especially because I don't have like a destroyer for a tool initiate to buff. Let's see, what's our curve looking at? We have three one drops. This is great. Like usually in judgment, you don't have a curve you're trying to make really because you kind of just have to take what's given to you. But I have a choices here. Um, I think we have enough two drops. We do have a bunch of three drops, but I think I, I think I'll take both of these guys, and I have thirty. I'll leave back all that stuff. This is actually cool for the Storm Runner, but we've imagined it's fine. Okay, so we have 17 creatures. This is awesome. So we're just going to call this Mono Energy Range. Oh, first, let me do this. Uh, let me copy. Here, how do I do this? How do I? We're going to paste this so I can leave it in the. So I've been trying to put my text in the link in the description of the video. 
so you can copy paste it and see what deck I had. I mean, I guess it's not that important for judgment, but I don't know. Your uh, sorry about the music loss. Okay, so that is saved somewhere where I can get it. Alright, cool. So let's save that. And hopefully a match comes really fast. Usually the earlier matches in Judgment um, come faster because it, the Judgment matching system matches people with like zero wins, then one win, then two wins, it tries to do it like that, I think. So the more wins you have, the longer it will take to find a match. There's not going to be as many people looking for their fifth win. So, yeah. Um, all right, number three and ladder, 1892, uh, coming up, 220 judgment with less round number. All right, so I will be back when a judgment match is found. Ooh, found a match. Okay, final move. Hopefully, I'm the one with the final move in this match. Um, don't have a two drop like a smuggler. There's four smugglers. Like I kind of wanna, kind of mulligan just because I want a smuggler. And there's also a Ganomaton, so there's a really good chance I would get a two drop. And those dust runner what I want, but I really like that turn three storm runner. I think it's also good to get the scout out at first early. Actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna draw new here. And this one is pretty equal. I mean, I guess I'd rather have the other hand because it has storm runner but uh, yeah i think i'll be fine with any hand considering there's four burns in this deck oh no if you notice this is a bug in scrolls when you click out of the window and click back in sometimes it uh it messes up and like music starts playing over the other music i don't think it's going on right now but a second ago there's two music tracks playing um, I'm going to keep the range stuff, sacrifice the sea tracker, and hopefully he I can kill something with this copper rod with him, whether it be a dust runner or something he protects the dust runner with. So it'll be interesting if we're playing similar decks. Decay, okay. So we're, we're able to kill that, which is pretty cool. I want to keep that big creature, I think. Yeah, I like to keep the big creature, so I'm going to sacrifice the scatter gunner. Pretty weak to energy anyways, and decay because of the two health, soul steals, uh, sparks, burns, all that stuff. Energy has so much stuff that would destroy two health things. But, the automaton is pretty nice, especially with uh, a bunch of automatons in the stack, like replicaton, gun automaton, copper automatons, cannon automaton. Okay, it goes for wild, and let's see. Alright, so, I was kind of hoping he would play something there. So that I could go ahead and burn it. You know what? This is a really tough sacrifice. I'm leaning towards sacrificing about Bard, but I have four burns in the deck. Four burns. I'll probably... Yeah, we're going to sacrifice about Bard. Well, I should have sacrificed our resources. <laughs> and we do... Most of the deck is creatures, so I guess it's a little bit a unlucky there, but it's okay. Energy stuff. Come on, play some creatures, dude. Well, I can't burn that. I guess I can burn it twice. I was hoping this would be a little bit more smooth sailing. Uh, ooh, Forge. That's nice. Maybe I can machinate you later. Nah, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna play the Forge right in the middle. Okay, so now next turn. So this turn, um... Hopefully you play something I could burn. If not, I might. Oh, there I could easily burn. It's burnable, so you're gonna die. Yay! Uh, sacrifice the concentrate fire for that. I was thinking about doing double burn on this clock library, but I might just let it go. Maybe I should have kept that machinated because then I can machinate this and destroy that. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Plating. Okay, so he's just putting more cards on that. I'm not gonna touch that anyways. So I'm happy that he puts another card into that. Um, sacrifice the Metal Wonder, probably, yeah. And get this big guy out. And I guess... 
I guess I could stay in a line like that. Yeah, I, I could hear the muscle music tax probably. I'm gonna turn off the music. Hope he has on that. Let me know. Do you guys want in videos? Um, do you like the scrolls music going on in the background, or do you want me to use different music? Or like, I'm not sure here. Let me just burn this. Double smuggler. We're gonna sacrifice one smuggler. Play the other smuggler. Up top. But do you guys want me to use the scrolls music? I could put in other music as long as it's uncopyrighted. Um, like approaching Nirvana stuff is all uncopyrighted and stuff like that. Like Monster Cat I could try to do. But I don't know. Whatever you guys will want. But I kind of like the scrolls music usually. Let's see. If I turn back the music on, will, will it work? Because it kind of feels lost without music. I think it's working right now. Okay. I don't think we need proximity charge. I'm gonna say it's six resources, I like that. So many burns, it's not even fair. Oh my god. <laughs> uh I'm not gonna burn this turn though. I'm gonna go Storm Runner Scatter Gunner. So Storm Runner. He's not at six resources. He can't do like crazy stuff to me yet. Alright, so do big six damage middle idle. And yeah. Languid on who? Okay, that. Oh well. Well, I have three others in the deck, so. Ha ha ha. Alright. Um, it's a little annoying. Hard to break through that. If I focus on idols, I could probably win kind of soon, anyways. Should I burn something? What should I burn? What should I burn? What should I burn? I will burn you up top and sacrifice the gun auto for scrolls and get down a hired smuggler. Sure. Oh, that's scary. I thought the game was almost froze for a second. And. Keep it all like that. I could move down to put more pressure with the cannon on him, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't want to put myself like too close to Kevin Casey with a bunch of Mire Curses and stuff like that, and like Blind Rages. Sickening Fuse, that was a good card from Sawyer. There are a lot of stuff Mama's attacking. Um, just delays his death though, because as we saw, my deck is amazing. <laughs> He's like four, four of a card is, so you can only have three of a card in a normal constructed play, but, and it's a 50 card deck. This is only a 30 card deck and I have four of a card. That means it would come up like, like incredibly fast, even faster than it would if it was just four cards in a regular deck. Um, what I want to do here. I have a tick bomb, but it doesn't really help right now. I could just tick bomb something. Uh, let's see, I'll sacrifice for scroll. I think we have enough hired smugglers. <laughs> Burn. I guess that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, let's burn. I don't know. Burn you? No, I don't care if you die though. You're languided. Both languid. I don't care about that. So that's gonna die anyway. So I'll just burn this. Oh, perfect. Now I can play this stuff. Might as well go like that. I'm very clumped together right now. Oops. Let me go like this so that. Oh no. I wanted to make sure there's a 100% chance of. This, yeah, the gun auto's not spawning there, so it couldn't be destroyed by this copper auto or whatever. I was lucky enough for that to happen. Okay. And next turn, I have a lot of damage coming in. Not a ton. Good amount. And I could tick bomb. 
the clock library or the forge tough choice people usually tend to focus oh boy i guess it was i guess i shouldn't be clumping up too much but i don't think it's gonna be enough to pull him back in the game look at look at all the resources he has charge coil people tend to value forge more than a three drop like it's only three drop but they tend to value it more than like a clock library here i definitely do the clock library because it is it does have um so i'd say at one count i'm going to tick bomb before i sacrifice your cards because although it'd be great to get like a burn or something to get rid of this um i want to i want the tick bomb in the next cycle of the deck so i'm gonna tick bomb this and now i'm going to and now i'm going to sacrifice for cards sacrifice the siege cracker sure we've got a burn okay and i will destroy you hit an idol move you guys up if he has a thunder surge then i'll be slightly sad i'll give him an opportunity to make some kind of a comeback if he has like a thunder surge i don't think he's had enough resources anyway so yeah gg wp not much survival move could do um yeah i think the music is overlapping right now i'm pretty sure it is all right pretty short judgment video um usually judgment matches take a bit longer um yeah they usually take a bit longer because the decks are not made like well they are made for winning but they're not like really that efficient because you don't you don't have choices and also you take time out of the video to draft but that was really fast because i had an amazing deck so that'll be it for today um so thank you all for watching like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this keep supporting scrolls and playing scrolls and being awesome scrollgers because we want to make sure the scrolls launch out of beta at the end of this uh, autumn is going to be the best scrolls launch and yeah so submit your top place to me at nerf the ninja at gmail.com for top plays of the week sorry that hasn't been there the past couple weeks because i've had no time and i've had no submissions <laughs> well, a couple submissions so i apologize to you guys that i've submitted and then there hasn't been a video of it um i'll try to fit that in next week so that'll be all subscribe like keep on scrolling scrollers